If you're looking to enjoy an incredible dining experience with a wide variety on the menu, with locally sourced food and ingredients that changes seasonally, you have to check out Heritage Food and Drink here in Wappingers Falls, New York. I'm excited to try the food, let's go check it out. New York's Hudson Valley has a lot to offer. Amazing food, a rich history, tons of community events, and amazing people and organizations. I'm Jason Dillon with the Dillon Real Estate Team, and this is everything Hudson Valley. So we are inside right now with Frank, the executive chef of Heritage Food and Drink. Frank, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for having us. So Frank, hey, let's talk a little bit about what's the inspiration behind Heritage Food and Drink? How did you guys start? Tell me a little bit about that. So basically, we, you know, we wanted to you know, create a restaurant in the Hudson Valley that focuses on other things that you don't really see around here. So that's awesome, Frank. So what do you guys specialize in? You know, really good burger, salmon. We do fried chicken and waffles for brunch. Nice. Uh, we do brunch Saturday and Sunday. And so um, it, it's pretty much whatever we want to do. What, what we think is uh, delicious at the moment. Yeah. So. Well, speaking of delicious, you're making me hungry for all that talk about food. So let's go into the kitchen and let's check it out. All right. So Frank, what's the first thing that we're going to be making here today? Uh, so we're going to do like one of our most popular entrees, it's a uh, pan seared salmon mm. with um, some mashed potatoes, a little Bernays aioli instead of like Bernays sauce. We can make uh, an aioli out of it nice. with uh, garlic, chili, broccoli, rub. Woo! Sounds delicious. All right, All right nice. so after you season it, basically get a pan down, a little bit of, uh, you know, we use black oil. Uh, the next next thing that goes with the uh, salmon, well, there's you know uh, two two components. One is the uh, smashed potatoes. So they're basically Yukon Gold potatoes with a little bit of chili flake, garlic, um, olive oil. finish, we use these microgreens from, they're actually grown in Fisco. Alright, so the next thing we got, uh, we're going to be doing is something I put on probably like four years ago, it's a spicy shrimp toast. The flower shop with our garlic butter that we made here. And then we just hit it with a little bit of Parmesan. Right? That's my little bit too. Yeah, it's a little. We take the shell off and then we, uh, you know, we cut them in half. Get them in there. Salt. And then I hit it with a little bit of shallot. And a little bit of garlic. Get that going. Once that's all in there, you throw the garlic bread right in the broiler. To reinforce my love of garlic and butter. Yes, that's how much butter goes in corn. I love it. It is not fat free. All it is right there. Roasted garlic butter, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of salt, and now I add the chili flavor. That's where the spice comes in. So the next thing that we're going to do is Kung Pao Brussels. Now, it's not on the menu, it's a secret menu item. It was on the menu, it is a fan favorite. Anyone that comes in, I can always do it. It's uh, completely done. It takes like 45 seconds. And it's so good. It's a fried vegetable. 
The sauce that we make here has a bunch of soy, uh, sambal. There's, to finish, we do these peanuts with uh, uh, granulated garlic and smoked paprika. And we roast them and just top them. Man, I am so excited to sit down and eat this after being in the kitchen. The smells, I wish I could share with you guys what I'm smelling right now, but I'm gonna dig right in to this salmon, which smells absolutely incredible. I mean, that's just cooked so perfect. And the creaminess of potatoes is incredible. Absolutely love that. You get a taste of the shrimp toast here. Spicy shrimp toast. Oh man, it's like a flavor parade. Absolutely incredible. And my favorite, I was so excited that he made this off the menu for me, this Kung Pao uh, Brussels sprouts. It's so good. And if you want to enjoy an amazing cocktail, you can see the amazing bar behind me. I don't drink, but one of my favorite things is that they bring in these local breweries. So this is from the Industrial Arts Brewery Non-Alcoholic IPA from Beacon right down the street. So that's what I'm going to enjoy today. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to enjoy finishing the rest of this delicious meal. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Everything Hudson Valley. See you next time.